Parasite made history at the 2020 Oscars, more than once actually, including what I consider to be the most important Best Picture win in Oscar history. In this video, I'm going to break down some of the incredible moments from that awards ceremony and examine why Parasite winning Best Picture matters so much. Now, if you haven't seen Parasite, or if you're among the rare few who did and didn't see what all the hype was about, I can understand why this topic might not resonate with you. And that's fine, when it comes to cinema, it's always going to come down to subjectivity on one level or another. But but if you stick around, I hope to make my case, and while I won't be reviewing Parasite here, because I've done so elsewhere and will link to my non-spoiler review of the film in the description, I do feel it's one of the very best films of 2019, and I firmly believe we wouldn't be having this moment if it were not. As I said, the evening was historic in more than one way. First, Parasite writer-director Bong Joon-ho and co-writer Jin Won Han won Best Original Screenplay, the first ever Oscar for a South Korean film. But this is very first Oscar to South Korea. Thank you. Uh... This also marked the first win for an Asian film in this particular category. Of course, Bong's time on stage was far from over at that point. Along with his trusty interpreter Sharon Choi, a filmmaker in her own right, Bong took to the stage again when Parasite won for Best International Feature Film, becoming the first film to do so since the Academy rebranded it from Best Foreign Language Film, a category that South Korea had never even been nominated in before, which is mind-boggling in and of itself, especially when you consider all the impressive films and filmmakers that have been flowing forth since the Korean New Wave first swelled in the 1990s, when Bong's contemporaries like Park Chan-wook, Kim Ki-duk, Kim Ji-woon, and Lee Chang-dong all rose to international acclaim, to say nothing of the country's rich cinematic history, in particular its golden age through the 1960s. So while this is absolutely a celebration of a masterful film from a master filmmaker, it also speaks for decades of suppression of Korean cinema, which itself speaks for the suppression of films and filmmakers the world over. I could and should go on, but I'll save the remainder of my thoughts on this particular Oscar category for another video. The night continued to improve when Bong won Best Director. Bong Joon Ho! Becoming only the second Asian filmmaker to win that award after Taiwan's two time winner in the category, Ang Lee. Here, he showed his graciousness with what was not only my favorite moment of the ceremony, but will undoubtedly go down as a quintessential Oscar moment. With a loving shout out to fellow nominee and all around inspiration and icon, Martin Scorsese. When I was young and studying cinema, there was a saying that I carved deep into my heart, which is the most personal is the most creative. That quote was from uh, our great Martin Scorsese. So. <laughs> resulting in a massive standing ovation and sheer outpouring of respect. <laughs> he also recognized fellow nominee Quentin Tarantino, who has long been a champion of Bong and his films. When people in the U.S. were not familiar with my film, Quentin always put my films on his list. He's here. Thank you so much. Quentin, I love you. Uh and even referenced one of the all-time best horror films. If the Academy allows, I would like to get a Texas Chainsaw, split the Oscar trophy into five, and share it, with, share it with all of you. Of course, the biggest moment was yet to come, with the biggest award of the night, Best Picture, also going to... Parasite. And it's here that the most ink will go in the history books. Parasite is among a select few of non-English language films to ever be nominated for Best Picture. But it is the very first to win, which is incredible, and incredibly frustrating that it took this long to happen. But it happened. As easy as it would be to lament over Oscars past, I prefer instead to focus on why Parasite winning Best Picture matters. For starters, it matters because a film that is widely considered to be the best of the year actually winning Best Picture goes some ways to legitimize the Oscars themselves. 
especially after last year's embarrassing Green Book win. After all, the Best Picture Oscar is only as good as the films that have won it. Adding a film like Parasite to this pedigree only strengthens its reputation. It matters because for the first time in nearly 100 years, the Academy has broadened its own horizon to crown a film made outside the United States and in a language other than English. It matters because this signals to South Korea that one of their stories was heard, acknowledged, and celebrated on the other side of the world. It matters because seeing Koreans on stage accepting the biggest awards of the night is a powerful image of representation for billions of Asians. It matters because more people will now seek out other films from Bong Joon-ho and discover that he's been a must-watch filmmaker for nearly two decades with other great films like Memories of Murder, The Host, and Mother to his name. It matters because this will be the first foreign film that many people will ever experience, essentially opening the door to an entire world of cinema never before explored. It matters because this is the first film to win Best Picture that has also won the Palme d'Or, the top prize of the prestigious Cannes Film Festival, since Marty pulled that off for the first time over 60 years ago. Cannes has long been a destination for international filmmakers and their art, and this will inevitably increase the attention of unique and challenging films that premiere there. And it matters because any filmmaker anywhere in the world, no matter what they look like or what language they speak, now knows that it's actually possible to not just be recognized by the Academy and not just be nominated by the Academy, but to go all the way, to win, and win, and win, and even win Best Picture. Now, as much as I'd like to pretend that all is well with the Oscars now, and that going forward we're going to see nominations and winners from around the globe, let's not forget the Academy has a seesawing track record of getting some things right and many things wrong. And as far as we know, they are still only permitting a mere five quote-unquote international films through each year. Parasite is exceptional, not a new rule. For all of its artistic merit, director Bong and those involved still had to play the award season game, campaigning heavily in a process that is neither cheap nor easy nor without its own politics. And even still, a film of its caliber with a terrific ensemble cast didn't manage to get a single nomination for acting. Parasite might have broken through multiple barriers, including what has long been the biggest wall of all, but that doesn't mean the wall has been destroyed. It's high, and it stretches wide. I do, however, prefer to bolster something akin to cautious optimism. We might not be ready to turn this wall into a bridge just yet. Parasite, after all, is just one film. But it has to start with just one film. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What do you think of Parasite's Oscar wins? And why do you think it matters? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you down there. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to Cineflake for video essays, ranked lists, mashups, and occasional oddities. And click that bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified anytime I upload a new video. For Cineflake, I'm J.S. Lewis. Until next time, watch something good. <laughs>